，影人影人，你又讲呢个啊？你。Twenty-two-year-old Zen Coco Saw is fatally wounded. Next to him, a woman he'd met hours earlier at a protest. She'd told him to stay back, but he didn't. What you're about to see is the killing of one of many civilians. At the hands of Myanmar's authorities. Sky News has analysed videos and photos from the city of Myingje to piece together the events leading up to Zin Kokozor's death. Wednesday, the third of March, 2021. The bloodiest day in Myanmar since the military took power in an illegal coup. Before the day is over, at least 38 protesters will have been killed at demonstrations across the country. Among them, in the city of Myingje, Zin Kokozor. Myingje is just southwest of Mandalay, Myanmar's second largest city. That morning, Zin Ko is one of hundreds of protesters gathering on a main road, National Highway 2. Just before half past nine, this video shows protesters walking along the highway. At least eight police and military vehicles arrive. They turn around right in front of the protesters. As this truck turns, we catch a glimpse inside. The patch on this soldier's right arm shows their troops from Myanmar's infantry. On the left arm of the soldier opposite, we can see another insignia. It's hard to make out, but in this image taken on the same day in the area, the same patch is clearer. Their soldiers from the 88th Light Infantry Division, a part of the army notorious for its brutality. The weapons they're carrying also give us a sense of what's to come. Here on the right, one soldier carries a single-shot grenade launcher. It can be used for tear gas. Human rights observers tell us the soldier on the left. Is carrying an MAS rifle, the army's sniper rifle. It's now just after ten. Protesters are gathering around the clock tower at the intersection of the main road in Lenthit Street. So far, from videos Sky News has seen, there's no sign of conflict between the military and the demonstrators at this point. Nine minutes later, this footage is being filmed by a volunteer medical assistant. The police are in formation at the north end of National Highway 2, facing the protesters. A group of soldiers is behind in support. Then some protesters seem to head towards the police. Shots are fired. They quickly turn back. Yeah, boy, you got to check. Not check, boy, come here. Don't check, boy, come here. Don't check, boy, come here. The police and army line has moved up towards the intersection. Some protesters are behind a makeshift barricade in the road. A police warning sounds. Protesters must leave the area. Shots are fired. Some take cover. At 11:50. Two people run across the intersection carrying something. 
Others come to help them. They're half carrying, half dragging, sing Kokozo. The video is too graphic to show. His shirt is covered in blood. His head falls back, almost hitting the tarmac. You can hear the panic as they carry him to an ambulance. But it's already too late. <laughs> Later pictures are taken of Zinko's parents, of the vigil held at the place where he died. And that evening, crowds gather at the place where Zinko died, at the end of the bloodiest day so far in the battle for Myanmar.